these are the, both the oxidized form. So the one with the bigger positive number, the oxidized species will be better at oxidizing. And so that would be the iron plus, plus three. That's the bigger positive number. Whereas here, when we're considering which is the better reducing agent, we're looking at the two reduced species here. And here, the thing with the smaller uh, positive number, the reduced form will be a better reducing agent, more reducing. So again, you can look at where those are in the table and the size difference between them uh, to get the right answer. So very good. OK. So now I want to consider a biological uh, example for a minute. And I'm going to ask a question uh, that we'll then answer at the end of class. So in cells, things have reduction potentials. Vitamin B12 has a reduction potential. In fact, it has one of the largest negative reduction potentials of any biologically occurring molecule. And so uh, it has to be reduced to be active in the body. So how can something with a very large negative reduction potential be reduced? That's the question. Why should you care? Well, because vitamin B12 needs to be reduced to be active. And the proper functioning of enzymes, there's only actually two that you have in humans, uh, that require B12. One that requires B12 and, and folic acid uh, is thought to be uh, important in preventing heart disease, uh, birth, detect, birth defects, and B12 has recently been uh, linked to uh, mental health. In particular, a lack of B12 has been linked to dementia. Uh, so uh, these are all pretty significant things. Um, so uh, one thing that I think is kind of interesting here when they, they talk about uh, heart disease, um, how, how many people have uh, heard of cholesterol? How many people have heard of uh, homocysteine? Would you be surprised to know that homocysteine is a better indicator of whether you'll have heart trouble than cholesterol? Yes, you would think that you would have heard of the one that was the better link. Well, homocysteine is actually a better link uh, to indicate whether you might have heart problems. But uh, the thing is that there's not a whole lot of, of money to be made there, whereas there's a lot of money to be made in drugs that lower cholesterol. So you may realize if you think about where you get your medical information, it's often from commercials where someone's trying to sell you something. And so if there isn't much money to be made, say, the treatment for a condition might be taking vitamins, which you know there's not a whole lot of money to be made there. You don't hear as much about it. So it's important to consider the source of information about, about your health. And as scientists, you can all, all evaluate information about your health now. All right, so vitamin B12 is very important. You really need vitamin B12 to be a healthy person. And uh, most people at MIT are, you know, maybe at this stage are not that, that worried about uh, of heart disease. Um, many of you are probably not worried yet about having children with birth defects. But maybe some of you are worried about uh, 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 mental uh, recognition of particular facts uh, for exams coming up. And so you may be concerned about B12 uh, to keep, keep sharp mentally. So, so where do you get vitamin B12 and folic acid in your diet? And how, how is it reduced? So let's first consider uh, where you get it in, in your diet. So uh, does anyone know where you get vitamin B12 in your diet? I heard vegetables. Anyone agree with vegetables? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say if anyone liked vegetables. Does anyone agree that vitamin B12 comes from vegetables? It doesn't. Where does vitamin B12 come from? So red meat is a good source of vitamin B12. Uh, all meat is a good source of vitamin B12. Uh, plants do not use vitamin B12 at all. So uh, people who are vegan are uh, in trouble uh, in terms of how much vitamin B12 they get. But luckily, there are vitamin tablets that can help take care of this. So meat is really the best source of vitamin B12. So um, I, I, I 
I'm always looking for good references to, uh, to vitamins.